All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome to Mark Monday. The show everybody got happens every single Monday, episode 171. Last week, episode 170, we played a stork artisan. Is it Spell Goblins? Check that out. I've missed it, of course, on YouTube. Today, we're playing some historic brawl, and we're updating our Muxus deck with um, a number of cards here, uh, some new and some old. We get Mutavault and Nykthos, which are pretty big upgrades, uh, both really, really good lands for the deck. Uh, Mutavault's a goblin, of course, and then Nykthos can do some really powerful stuff uh, in the mid-game as far as making a lot of mana for Nick, for Muxus and so on and so forth. We get some al alchemy cards, too, here in Goblin Morale Sergeant. Pretty cool two-drop, two in haste, and enlists. So whenever it enlists, you conjure a duplicate copy into your top five cards of the card that enlisted it. So kind of cool to have multiple copies of a card in a, a commander format, a, a one, a one uh, singleton format. We got Coalition Construct, really cool lord. ETB is choose a creature type, and it's the chosen type. And when ETB is creature of chosen type in your hand and in play, perpetually get plus one, plus one. Kind of cool. And also Goblin Influx Array, which is a four mana enchantment. It makes your goblin spells cost a red less to cast. It removes the actual colored cost. And then, uh, then if you're end step, you conjure uh, a goblin from the 15 cards in the spell book, which is pretty fun as well. So kind of a fun, kind of a fun grindy card. So those are in the deck, and I get our work playing Kamux as our commander. And if you're unfamiliar with Historic Brawl, it's basically just commander on Arena. Uh, it is 1v1, obviously, uh, but it's fun. It's a good time. So that's the deck. Let's go right to the games. Brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Let's go. Pwn's playing Golos Tireless Pilgrim. It's got to be a pretty good one, I would assume. Chat, coming out with me. And our hand is uh, three lands, Trap Finder, Bugbear, Sniper, Ember, Cleaving Cubus. Sounds fun. Probably play Cave on one. I don't know. We'll see what, we'll see what they do. So they're a five-color Golo stack. Of course, it is the uh, commander color identity or whatever, so this is a five-color card. Um, we can find a spot for Trap Finder at some point. We should play this land. Tap them just to go. We'll cast this whenever it's relevant. You don't want to have a two-drop, three-drop set up. So no, uh, no two-mana play. I'm feeling Growth Spiral, if I had to guess. I'm going to call, call it Growth Spiral. No, yes, yeah, something. No, no, no. Okay. All right, Muta Vault, Trap Finder, Forest, just Salt Eye so far. I mean, we're gonna cast Spell. I'm gonna cast the uh, the Bugbear and not the Chieftain. Chieftain's, Chieftain's much more important, and uh, they obviously have like something going on here. Counter Spell, Removal Spell, something. So let's play the worst card. Gotta play something. What's up, Lazarus? Afternoon from Texas. What's up, my friend? What's up, Oshkosh, Bugosh? Boosh, Bugosh, whatever. What's up, Lucid? Bugbear on the stack, Memory Lapse. Sure, that's uh, that's a fun card. You like forget these cards are legal anymore. This card's banned in a store, and uh, you don't get seen in a while, so. Burnt Rope, new sub, what's your name, where you from, welcome. Mog Monday, the show we play goblins every single Monday. Playing some historic brawl and getting thought seized. Well, you can't thought seize this one. That's the important one over in the command zone. I would get Chieftain, I would assume. We get just a slap back with the Bugbear. Love it. Land Bugbear. We set it for Evercleave, too. That's pretty good. Keeps giving me priority in the Muta Vault. It's kind of annoying. Probably just activated it, honestly. There we get Bajuka Bog. There goes my graveyard. Aww. It's gone forever. On that, we draw a Goblin Chain Whirler. So. We're getting a little concerned about, like, them having interaction. Um, we could, like, fire a Mutavault and attack here. If they kill a Mutavault, though, it's pretty bad for us. We could go for a Embercleave. We could fire a Mutavault and an Embercleave, too, I guess. Which is pretty... Actually, what's too bad? Because if we fire up a Mutavault and the way they go to kill it... Uh, I guess they can kill it pre-combat, but... We can Embercleave the thing they don't kill, so let's attack. They got no blocks. Alright, we got a Cleave, right? We gotta, we gotta just fire up the Cleave. They have a kill speeder, it sucks, but they've been passing priority pretty fast, so. Zebra! Resub, month number two, most important month, appreciate it, thanks so much. Thought goals is banned in Brawl. Um, missed the dispute, damn. Uh, well, if it is, they're they're cheating. It's abandoned in Brawl, not a Stork Brawl. Banned in Commander, maybe? I, I don't know, honestly. Goals is gonna get uh, probably the World Tree or something like that. Gonna set up for uh, 
some stuff. Now they have a 3-5 uh, a in play, too, which is kind of annoying. We didn't draw a line for Muxus, unfortunately, which actually sucks pretty bad. Um, we're going to attack. I'm just going to jam. I do it. They block the bugbear. We use the sniper to finish it off. Want to block trap finder, whatever. We'll get our trigger, you know? They're at 12 now. They're kind of dying, so. Can't cast Snoop and Chain Whirler, unfortunately, with the Mood of Vault in play. They're going to block trap finder. Cool. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if we get a, uh, we get a, we get a War Chief. Now, of course, the War Chief, uh, will die at the end of turn. It costs less mana because of the trap finder ability. It's kind of like a sneak attack. Don't want to cast that post combat. We're gonna snoop here. Actually, I think the goal here should be to try and clear our top, top of our deck and find a land. So let's cast snoop. If there's a goblin on top, we can cast it, and we can have a better chance of Muxus next turn. There's a banner on top. Right. Sure, that's fine. Um, next turn we can like war chief sniper. Or we can banner war chief for a lot of options. Obviously, they're like online now. They have you know perfect mana, four cards in hand. We'll see what happens. But we we'll to play goblin sharp Belcher. Oh no. Meet of Massacre. That sucks. Uh, sure. This actually is fine though if we can kill the Golos. Because the X is 3, so we'll channel this and kill Golos. And, um, this is the nerfed Massacre because we're playing Historic Brawl, so this does, they, don't, they don't gain any life, which is very important. There's no point in sacrificing Courier because they, they don't gain life either, either way, so. Is Belcher a goblin deck? What do you think, folks? Keeper Mulligan. YouTube folks comment of a day. Is Belcher a goblin deck? Fit for Mog Monday. Alright, so kill all the stuff. We have War Chief plus Chief today. Like, actually, I'm sorry, we can't. We still have not enough red pips. So it's probably just gonna be banner war chief. Attack for three, I guess. Um or banner whirler. Better. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. I think I think Goblin Char Belcher, also playing like Skirk Prospector and ways to make mana and stuff is not a, a proper Goblin deck for Mog Monday. So we could guess Warchief for an attack for two, but like that's not very good. Let's play Chain let's play Chain Whirler. Play Whirler, get it for one damage. And uh um, four three in play. We have Muxus next turn, which is important. They have like infinite mana and cards, but we'll see. Thoughts he's lapsed dispute. We have War Chief, two mana War Chief, and we have a uh, new wall. They're going to play the, uh, the nerf to Fairy, which costs four, has five loyalty. And bounce the Whirler, sure. This goes to two, not one. Which is important. We draw Goblin Motivator. So I think we just cast War Chief here. I don't like this mana. Uh, yeah, we should just cast War Chief. Cast War Chief. I mean, cast Chief and uh, Chain Whirler, I mean. They're gonna... They have main deck Aether Gust. What is this shit? Main deck Dispute, main deck Aether Gust. Alright. We're gonna bottom this. And I guess we're gonna War Chief and just attack the, uh, the Teferi. We can Mute Vault, actually. I mean, you can Mute Vault. They have a one matter rule spell. So be it. Who main decks Aether Gust in Brawl? You know, like, Dispute, you can at least, like, cast it for three. But Aether Gust, like, might actually just be blank, you know? Alright. Play Motivator, so they go. So now you can give Muxus haste as well. Wish Claw Talisman? Wow. You're gonna give me the Talisman? They think that our deck isn't good enough to handle Demonic Tutor? All right, what are you going to get, friend? So, of course, they tutor a card, but then I get the Talisman. And then I can uh, tutor a card to give back them if I want to. All right. That's bold. Oh, yeah, Disenchant or something? They're going to mouse. I hope, I hope, I hope they tutor for that Maelstrom Pulse. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just guess Muxus. I mean, they have one mana up, but... Look and counter Muxus for one. Oh my god. That's the rudest thing I've ever seen. Alright, yeah, I guess that card's pretty good in a commander format. One blue, counter your commander. Rude. Alright. 
Uh, yeah. All right, that sucks. All right, all Mux is now cost uh, just a casual eight. I mean, I have Warchief and Pyre, which is pretty good together, actually, because I can stack the Warchief. Coma. All right, this is getting interesting. Uh, Trash Master. Let's play Pyre and Warchief and then stack the Warchief, right? Let's see if we got a four drop. Yeah, happy Kaldheim draft day. We are going to draft Kaldheim later. Kaldheim's the arena open format this weekend. So, how Wash Away is banned is beyond me. I mean, like, whatever, you know, like, it's like Essence Scatter across two. This is like, you know, whatever. Um, so, we're going to Pyre the Warchief, which costs three. There's no point in into those blocks, so. Let's go find a four drop that fits the bill here. We can get Ringleader. We can get one of the, uh, the... The gang groups, the Beetleback Chief or the Gang Leader. We can get Krenko. We can get Bali Veteran. Um, Krenko, I mean, probably dies. I guess they only have two guards in their hand, right? I can get Krenko haste, too. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get Krenko. Get Krenko. And then we'll just give it haste and pop it up immediately. So, this is kind of guess. I guess I can tap it response, but whatever. It's fine. Maybe we just, I'm not going to do it. Wow. Not going to do it. Ring Leader? No, nah, the board presence, I think. They only have two... Uh, Two cards in hand, so. Alright, so. Cast Golos again. This, that's actually really good for us, because that means we are unopposed on, on, on Krenko. And I have another Lord effect, too, so we're, like, really popping. We could even play Trash Master and Pod for a, like, Siege Gang or something like that. I think it just comes down to, like, can they wrath or not? If we they, they can't wrath next turn, they're dead. Port of Carful. It's a cool card. Alright. I mean, they're at six. They can tap my Cranko. But I just have response, obviously, so. This is a battle. We got a battle going here. Freaking love this card, Heraldic Banner. Really good, like, commandery card. Sweet one. Roast and Toast resub. Thanks so much. All right. They're going to coma. We're going to draw a Goblin Rune Blaster. Actually, kind of guess. Um, Port returns a creature. Um, if I kill the World Tree, does our mana get bad? Uh... They won't have any white. They mux their mana up pretty good, actually. I could Rune Blaster and then I could pot it. Um, for another four drop. Uh, yeah, I like that. Let's do that. So, Rune Blaster. Whenever you're given the option to kill a land, do so. Because killing lands is tight. No Sling Gang or Mono Red, unfortunately. Uh, let's kill the World Tree. What's up, Sue? Thanks, thanks for reset. Appreciate it. Is there a format of haste? No. There's no way to pod for a haste effect here. Alright, and then we're going to pod away the room blaster. And this can tap a permanent and remove the activated abilities it has. So you get like volley vet here. Maybe we just like kill a kill a coma, kill a serpent. Honestly, trash master can kill the golos. They can't activate golos either because uh, they don't have any white, which is kind of cool. Can't kill coma. They'll sacrifice the thing to keep it alive. So um, we're just go wide here too. I think going wide is like pretty reasonable. Let's go wide. Get the gang leader. They are at six. So. And I'm just going to activate this now, I guess. Is there a reason to wait? I don't think so. Alright, I mean, Wrath or Bust, right? Coma's pretty good, yeah. You hate how Arena shows the opponent what you're looking at or reading? I mean, I think it's fine. Just like a paper, right? Alright, well, we only have uh, 11 tokens right now. So we are a little ahead of the token range. They have no white source. Uh, they have no creature in the graveyard for their port of Carful. 
So they can't activate Golos. They were to bounce their own meat hook. Uh, yeah, I mean, that would be good if they had a way to do that, but that's the same thing as them just like having another Wrath effect, right? Yeah, Coma's good, but uh, Cranko does win the heads-up fight if they're both uh, uncontested. Untap. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good here, so we're going to draw a... Okay. Game. Drew the Mons. Had the Trash Master. Glasses. All right, cool. Take it. D-Troy-er. Got it. Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. That feels like a pretty nasty one. Uh, we have a spike field hazard though, thankfully. We're gonna keep our hand. And nick those too, sec. And iron crack feet, wow. Keep this. Forest Lana Elves. Okay. Well, we have a spike field hazard. Do we spike the Lana Elves or spike the actual spell thief? Hmm. I just suppose this way to go. I'm gonna try and spike the, the Ivy, I think. They're not gonna play. Generous Visitor, or are they? I don't have a lot of removal in my deck, so I should say go. That's super sketchy. Uh, all right. Spike the visitor. Why? I'm not concerned yet. I don't think. Let's keep our spike up. We got Nykthos. Here's your Ivy. If you play a spell targets only still creature other than Ivy, you may cap that spell targets Ivy. So we're talking to you. Target the Rune of Flight. So we're going to pump the thing. So let's kill the Ivy here. Uh, and they get one Rune of Flight on their visitor, and the Ivy's dead and costs four. I think it's pretty reasonable, and they won't draw a card off that, too. So let's just do that. Spike this here. Get off my plane. And uh, they get a counter here. The Rune comes into play. They draw a card. All right, let's draw off that. And they have a 2 2 flyer, but you're a card. Sure. We've got. Next turn, we have Iron Craig Feet for Muxus. And we have a. Uh, I guess an agent this turn. We actually have a, a Fire Brab. We can just kill the elves. Let's see, that's even better, actually. I'll just kill the elves. We're drawing. We're not have a, a ton of removal in our deck, but we are drawing the, uh, the right spots of it. Side note, why isn't Mog Fanatic on Arena? Right? We need some, we need some Mog Fanatic in our life. Alright. Jugan defends the temple. That's a pretty fun deck. Green aura enchantment stuff. Fly! Gotta fly. Alright, that is one pissed off generous visitor. And they're gonna venture into the dungeon. But next turn, we're gonna show them the true power and wrath of Muxus Goblin Grandy. Who's ready for Muxus? What do we say, folks? What do we say? All right. What do we uh? What do we say here? Daddy's home. Gem bomb chieftain Lord Bannerish. Hi, hi, hello. Good lord. How's that? How's that for an attack? All right, friend. Well, show, me, show me what you got. We can pot away the gem bomb next turn also. Oh, they're so dead. Yeah, they're just dead. Activate a bandit lord to kill a visitor. What? Could kill a visitor? Oh, good catch. You're right. You're right. You're right. I missed it. I, we had we had a, a battle left over from the uh, the Iron Creek feat. You're totally right. I could have activated the, uh, the the bandit lord. Totally missed it. My bad. That's it. I'm going to clone. I think we're all right though. If I had to guess, uh, let's nick those here for eight. Um, let's cast Mons. Agent. I feel like there's no wrong way to do this, but uh, let's cast Agent first. Cast Agent. We're gonna cast Mons. We're gonna pot away the Amgen Palm for a Lord. Yeah, Nykthos is a nice addition. Aha, it's a good one. Pot away gem bomb. Deal one to the... Why do they Why do they have a goblin, huh? What? It's... We, they don't get to have goblins. We get to have goblins. All right, and we'll get... Uh, let me just get the uh, the old Lord Ski. Because he's the trash man. Yeah, he's the trash man. No 
Alright. Yoria Ageless Inventor. It's a meta 2 3. Put two ingenuity counters on it, and whenever you put artifacts in play, sure. It's kind of an artifact y in play for free deck. We have a pretty pretty draft deck looking hand here, honestly, but I'm gonna keep this, I guess. I see free mulligans though. I should free mulligan. I always forget about the free always forget the free mulligan in uh, Commander. Aether Vile would be nice, yes, I wouldn't mind some Aether Vials. It's Shadow Cell Smashing too. Alright, I'll we'll just cast uh oh, I guess two dumps cast the land, so go. Skip on one. Alright, there's your ageless inventor. We are going to play a land, and I guess play Hobgoblin Captain, which can safely attack the inventor. So every turn, we put two counters on it, and then put an artifact in play that costs that or less. So they can tap this right now and play a two-mana artifact for free. So it's honestly a really powerful card. It just, like, never really has had a home or anything. Uh, but it is a really good card. It's legal and standard right now, too. Does that a cut down, though? We're gonna play. Is it Locket? We draw Volley Vet. Uh, not quite there on Volley Vet. Um, let's just uh, play some stuff, I guess. Play Prospector and Instigator. Just kind of go wide. Set up Veteran to kill the Yoria next turn. Imagine dying to cut down. Yeah, all right. Make Goblin. Make Goblin. We have Muxus next turn. We want it, honestly. We can Prospector and Ritual out the Muxus. So we'll see what they do. They get to uh, play a four mana artifact for free here. This card's good. Just a good card. All right. Is it Locket? So they have six mana plus the Yoria stuff. So let's see what happens here. It's a lot of mana, honestly. Windfall. Discarding a Buried Ruin and drawing two, making two treasures. So they still have four mana available. Corridor Monitor. There's ETB's untapped target artifact or creature you control. This card is never going to do anything fair. Uh, they have to land, though. They could have activated this thing and untapped it and activated it again. But they chose not to, which is kind of weird, honestly. But they have a 1-4 in play, which is pretty awkward. So we are... Uh, we're just casting Muxus here, right? They have three mana up, but whatever. We didn't come here to not cast Muxus, right? Here's Prospector. Just sack all our shivers and cast Muxus. Love it. Don't get countered. Don't get countered. Looks like the uh, Firebrand. All right, here we go. What are they going to do? Wash away us? Please don't. Please don't. Okay. Is there an artifact that ETBs to counter things? There's a Tome of the Infinite. Uh, pay a blue conjure a random card from a spellbook into your hand. Perpetually gains the amount of any color. Okay. Spellbook is got four spike in it. It's a wild assortment of cards. So they're going to conjure a random card from the spellbook. We're going to resolve. We're going to hit Warchief and Goblin Morale Sergeant. So again, when I... I didn't even get to read my cards yet. Where, where are you going? <laughs> What's up, draft only? So this card, when you enlist with a non-token, you may conjure a duplicate of a card, but at five... So I could have I could have enlisted with Muxus and then put a Muxus into my deck and cast another Muxus. Man, that's lame -o. Lamo. Ooh, ooh. Uh oh, here we go. Uh, wow. It's like this is the. Uh, this is supposed to be the the broken brawl commander, right? All right, let's find out. Uh, take that free mulligan, two lander. Mux legal and modern. Uh, it is not. Oh no. We're on the play, and then that's two lander. Oh no. We can't keep this two lander. Can't even cast any spells. What's up, Mantis? Thanks for resub. I'm mulligan again. Right, what is this? All right, we'll keep this. Ship the Oracle and the Torch. I actually want a Torch Quarter because we have the Gem Bomb, so ship this thing. All right, we only, we only mulled once, right? We, we, we had free to free mulligans. This is fun. So there we go. There we go. Uh, 
No, we're not gonna snuggle bed, actually. We're gonna play it. <laughs> so there you go. They play Hall of Storm Giants. We draw an Unveiled Horde Master. Let's play Snoop. We can try and uh, clear the top of our deck of uh, non lands. Keep those lands flowing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Leave him alone. He has a family. A large family. A stinky family. Of many goblins. Brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, aunties, cousins. No! He had a family. Alright. He had a family. Alright. Uh, we, uh, we'll just chain whirl here, I think. It's the most uh, efficient guard. We could go, could go Horde Master Courier. But it's more mad efficient to do this, I think. Now if I draw land, I can go like Horde Master plus Gem Bomb or whatever, so... Here's the crossroads. They were on the draw. They to untap it. They wanted their scry, though. Infernal Grass Chain Roller. Whatever, sure. It's fun. Draw land. We didn't draw land. We really need to draw some lands. Uh, can't afford missed land drops here, unfortunately. Here's Horde Master. Here's Quarry Rope. Alright, so there you go. We're gonna cast the Clockmaster. So, this card's pretty good. Uh, Clockmaster makes a Midnight Clock. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you uh, drain for one and put a, put a counter on a clock. 12 counters, and you, time, you draw seven. So, what's up, 600? Thanks to Risa, appreciate it. So, untap. And a one mana Goblin lets me Gem Palm here, which is kind of cool. A Chandra. No! Why can't we just draw? All right, I'm gonna attack them both. Just can't draw land. They block with gem bomb. Hopefully they block. Draw land off this gem bomb. It makes zero sense that it puts the clock into play. Why? <laughs> What's wrong with that? All right, shoot this thing. This card's super fun. I'm playing in historic. Kill that. Dribble land. Awesome. Raid. Now it's a, now it's a two mana goblin. Exile with Horde Master, and we exile the land. All right, all right. We're behind here. We've now missed uh, missed one land drop. Two fours in our hand. Couldn't play a four last turn. Um, doesn't matter if you move because already... yeah. I mean, it's obviously a very good card. Yeah, I mean, it being a mana rock's pretty good. Tome of the Infinite. Conjure a random random card from spellbook. Four spikes in there. I don't like that. Four spikes. One of the shares. Ponder. Ritual. Light of Hope. Duress. Assault. Strobe. Fog. Real wide range of possible cards here. We draw a land, though, which is actually great. And uh, we're going to Chandra, I think. Just play Chandra. Try and resolve it so you can play Mux next turn. The dude literally makes clocks, you know? That's what he does. Alright, so we're going to plus this. I'm the best fire starter there is. I'm the fire starter. Yep. Get a trash master. Down. All right. Deal one. So next turn we can cast Muxus if they allow it. If not, we can just go for a ringleader. They're gonna cut down my core for sure. All right. So feeling decent here at Chandra and Blight. Does suck. We just lost our trash master, which is the answer to the clock. But if it conjured to hand, it wouldn't even be good. I don't think. So that's part of the power of the card. The card might be a little too good, honestly, but. Alright, they're gonna conjure another card with the tome. So you can obviously have a very pretty wide range of quality here. Uh, drawing a ponder is very different than drawing a fog, you know, like so. Clock goes up. Here is Ember Hauler. So not casting my mux into all his mana. We're trying to make two red mana and I should, I should just cast a ringleader and start there. Ringleader. You missed Mog Monday? You're you missed the Mog on Monday? What do you mean? We're Mogging right now. We got no Mogs yet, but we got plenty of goblins. Disdainful stroke. Say red, red. Just cast my all over it. 
And there you go. Hola. And there you go. Uh, and there to bolt that. Sure. So I'll shoot you. Definitely, uh, they're definitely up on cards, that's for sure. A little Demir lightning bolt action. It's a good hit from the uh, home. The tome is totally random. It's just a random card. So it's just like, could be light of hope, could be lightning bolts, could be, uh, could be a salt strobe, could be source of plowshares. They're going to play Karn the Great Creator. They're going to animate the Midnight Clock and attack my Chandra. Good old Rock. All right. Nothing beats that. That sucks. Uh, and they're a giant growth. No. Good lord. Draw land. Draw land. Yes. All right, buddy. We need you. This game's falling apart. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. No. Still a piece of garbage. Oh. No. Man, they have hit their spots this game. They actually had like a profitable giant growth too. Oh. No. All right, the game's pretty over now. I think their clock's about to go off. They're drawing cards of tome. Oh boy. All right. Who plays counters in a store brawl commander? They're all playing counter spells. You know, like whatever. Their deck beat our deck. It happens. The old clock master. There's clock master again. Make another clock. Whew. Obviously, in 1v1, the cards are a lot better than they are in, uh, in like, you know, multiplayer commander. Like, no one's playing freaking, you know, cut down or whatever in, in normal commander, but that's what the format is, you know? So they're about to twist her. Yeah, we're, we're just dead. I guess well, we could draw, like, exactly Iron Crag feet to try and cast Muxus again, but... Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. All right, so clock goes off. Draw seven. And we draw a Goblin Matron. I mean, we're just dead, like... We've already used our Gem Bomb, too. I don't know what we would get here, honestly. We're, we're just going to pack it up, I think. Um, what could we get that could possibly get us back into this game? I guess Goblin Crater Maker could kill Karn. That's a start, I suppose. So they, they like totally bricked on their uh, their draw seven, which is obviously extremely unlikely. And they also just have, have infinite tome of spells here too. Yeah. I'll play one more turn. Probably a packet. Gotta pack it up here. I will be better prepared All right. next time. We're gonna say go. He gets a tome again. This card's like weird. It's like a super high variance card draw engine. Could be insane, you know? They're gonna cast actual midnight clock. This is like a real deal. And play power to oh my god, they're going off. Here's Paradox Engine, and with Tome of the Infinite, Midnight Clock, and Paradox Engine, it's like almost infinite spells, infinite card draws, so we're, we're going to back it up here. All right, they got us. The Great Clock Master takes us down. We've heard that, uh, we've heard that the card is good. Vorinclex, Monstrous Raider. The old, the old Clex. And, uh, we're going to free Mulligan here, only a few lands. And yeah, this is fine. This is okay. Let's fire up the old Reckless Ring Winner, I guess. And we're gonna give a card in our hand haste. We're gonna give the Mimic Haste. Yeah. Alright. We got a good draw here, honestly. Hail Hydra. They don't play a uh, an elf, which is awesome. We're gonna choose uh, Barbarian Archer. Why would you have all these options here? What a weird, uh, a weird mix of, 
of uh, of options. He's all the all he's all the types in my deck, maybe. Just goblin. Thank you. Attack for uh, for a bunch. Here's a leaf kin druid in 3 We're just going to the gates here. We um we're gonna bolt this. I think we're gonna bolt the bird. Play our two two twos. Our Mister Sinister. That's it. What I what? Where are we? Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. That's got to be something broken, right? This card's a pretty uh pretty combo-y card. We've got two lands, Mulligan. We've got two lands. We do have Torch Courier plus Cranko, which is pretty ass. Yes. I'll keep this. Whatever, sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to get involved in chats, ramblings about stuff. Opponent's taking a mulligan. An actual mulligan or a free mulligan? Probably a free mulligan. All right, I'm going to keep. We got to draw land, but whatever. We'll draw land. I'm not worried. Let's play Torch Courier. So we can go Pyre on two. We'll draw land, play Krenko, give it haste and attack. Land or Elves. All right, so untap and draw a Crater Maker. All right. Uh, I mean, I'm going to Pyre of Heroes, I think. Pyre Charger kills Land or Elf, which is pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's draw land, please. All right, here's your cannon. This makes elves tap for two. There's a carry to it. Okay, they're going. Where's my Whirly Boy at? We also just play a two-drop and get Whirly Boy, right? All right, untap and draw not a land. You're taking two landers, you know? This just shouldn't do it. On the list of things you shouldn't do. It's just mulligan six. And I have like a hundred mana this turn. So this thing makes all of their non-land permits after mana tap for double. So they have two, four, five, six, seven mana. They say turn three, Kolga the Titan Ape, which is going to also kill my artifacts. So we're, uh, we're already dead. So <laughs> thanks for playing. Uh, we're dead. We bust a card, honestly. Bring a commander card. Is this card good in like commander commander? Just like, seems busted. Play all mana creatures play this thing. And we don't draw land. All right. Well, um, that was quick. It's our turn, our turn for a fast scoop. Bowling Prodigy? I mean, Kenan Bowling Prodigy would be a pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet card. Uh-oh. The Scourge of Standard, Shieldred the Apocalypse is here. And, oh, am I buying enough lands in my deck? I hope I am. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna free Mulligan. Give me the freebie. Freed from the real. Yeah, Kenan kind of like seems like it builds itself. I agree. Mulligan. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. All right, so we got Ringleader, Matron, Sean. Unfortunately, like we don't want to give Matron haste. Like, is there a world we like hold on to this for a turn? I don't think so. I have the Eye Tyrant. We draw Goblin Banneritch. I guess giving Banner haste is not bad. Sure, whatever. Just do the thing. Keep his haste. Attack one. Reckless Ringleader. Pretty fun card. Pretty cool design. Swamp. It's a tough turn two, you know? Tough turn two. Night of Dusk Shadows. Why would they think so long about not playing this? Why would they... You know, like, what else do they have to do that's not Night of Dusk Shadow? I don't know. They got something. Let's see what... Got some ones. Those stats aren't reasonable. So chat, chat's arguing right now about is Historic Brawl popular for when or not. Um, and using stats from untapped.gg to try and quantify the number of Historic Brawl games played is not reasonable because people who play use Untapped are mostly, mostly constructed players. 
so like because they're tracking their like their their games and their mythic ranks and stuff like that. So I would say the a player who plays non brawl is more likely to have untapped, therefore it skews the stats. Not saying that brawl is the most popular format or not, but those numbers aren't exactly accurate. Here's the signet. Um, we don't draw land again. I'm getting tired of missing land drops here. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go major for a gem bomb and just take Get a jump bomb, kill a card, draw this, try and find some lands. I'll check our map. What's he playing? We're playing. Playing 37 lands plus our. Uh, we have two spell lands. We have 39 lands in our deck. That's a lot of lands. All right. Um, let's you. Let's go get our gem bomb. Where are you, buddy? There you are, Gem Palm Incinerator. We'll just say go. Pass turn. Was Dark Ritual put into Arena and then did Mystical Archives? Uh, Dark Ritual is on Arena, uh, but it is banned in most relevant constructed formats. It's legal in Brawl. Uh, it's in Cube, but... So, Fatal Push kills the crappy creature. Great. Like that exchange. Let's draw, untap and draw land. And go like Gem Palm Captain. Mon Capitan. Is Channel and Brawl? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know what the Brawl ban list is, honestly. We could definitely look it up and check that. But I'd imagine Channel's not legal. Channel's pretty, uh, pretty dumb. What is this? This is one of the digital cards I don't really like. Uh, no so, to deal with me this is a Planeswalker. Uh, you minus it to accept one of the offers on accepting one of the conditions. And what are those? I don't even know how to like look at them, honestly. You can't even see them. I don't even know what they are. So, there's, there's, it's just like, this card's got way too much text. You can't even, you don't even know what it does. So, it's like kind of like, you know, you get to draw two cards, but yes. It went so fast I couldn't even read it, so... Uh, they get an emblem that says creatures you control get minus, minus one, plus two. But all of our spells cost one black, what's the cast? So, these are permanent. Sure. But menace, too. Do I even, like... No, I don't block here. Sure. All right, I mean... Draw, we draw influx array? All right, so... What's, uh... What's... Just draw a freaking land, honestly. Let's cycle best and kill the knight. Most of you want to draw a card here. It's the most important part. And draw a land. Come on! All right. And uh, we'll kill the soul brokers. So now they're permanently, for the rest of the game, uh, all their creatures have minus one power, but all of their spells cost one less gas, which is pretty big, honestly. Um, they're going to bog me, sure. We have to resolve this influx array. I'll feel pretty good about life, honestly. But we once again, you just need to draw land. Yeah, this card's a little much, I think. I think the majority of the digital designs are very fun, but some of them will go a little too far. Bank Buster. Sure. And Shelly. Alright, well, Shelly's online. 24 life. I agree, Bog is underplayed. Card suite. All right. I mean, what's the, what else you got here? I, don't, I guess. They, oh, I guess they have they have, they have a one drop, one drop in their hand. So we draw another non land. This is preposterous. All right. Uh, let's play Monzi and just say go. I guess. We're dying here. We're dying. Where are them lands at? Huh? Say go. So they're about to start gaining a bunch of life, and uh, they have a decent draw engine with a mana reducer, which is pretty good. Murderous Ride of the Mons. Um, I'm just going to shoot them for one. If I kill the gas, they're going to kill all my creatures, so I'll shoot them.
Cast Murderous Rider, whatever. 1 3 Life Linker. Pretty debilitating uh, emblem, honestly. I'm playing Wishclaw Talisman. Oh, bring it. I'll get a land so fast. I'll get, you know, like, like Nykthos, probably. They attack for three. They're going to crew attack for... Okay. So they're attacking for three. They're attacking for three. Um, waka, sure. Waka. I'll take three, I think. Got to be aware of our, our light with the shoulder. But I just draw... Please, come on. I'm very angry, if you couldn't tell. Very, very dissatisfied with my, uh, my, uh, my quantity of lands drawn. I guess they have, like, Massacre Worm, probably. And they just, like, Massacre the crap. But I should probably start blocking, actually. I probably should block last turn. Because now that they have Talisman, they get any card they want. So, like, Massacre Worm, Meat of Massacre, like, etc. Yeah, we're gonna get rocked this turn. I should have blocked last turn. I should Now, we're gonna lose all of our crap anyway. I should just block last turn gain, and gain three life. We can always still win this game if we draw a land and play a ray and then draw a land and play Because a ray is also a mana source too. It makes all of your goblins cost one less, so. I can't get a land with the talisman. That is true, Yogi. That is true. All right. One mystery card, one talisman for us. Yeah, any meat of massacre, massacre worm, yada, 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 all nasty here. I should definitely block last turn. Huge mistake. Yeah, sure. So, big, big mistake on my part. I should be at three, three higher life. Make a treasure. Attack for two. We still have time. This is turn like 120. We're still still playing a fourth land yet. All right. So they attack for two. They have this uh, hive too. That's kind of nasty. They can gain zero off zero life length. That is true. Down to 14. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Uh, all right. I mean, I think we're just dead, unfortunately. Let's play our Herald's Horn. I'm not going to wish call for a land. Let them get some other good card and just kill me with it. So, name Goblin. Say go. Ideally, our top card's a land, and I don't even know. Uh, at this point, we can like play Siege Gang and like block a lot and stay alive or try to do that, but they're drawing off Buster. Yeah, we're just like, we've just missed way too many land drops. Playing so many lands, too, it's actually like a lot. What does your average commander deck have, you know? Like, like this, is a, this is a 1v1, like, somewhat lower curve deck. We're playing 37 lands plus two spells. We're playing 39 lands. They just draw the Spider Queen off the top rope. Pretty good. Spider Queen's uh, zero ability, pretty good shoulder to play, as are most, most things. It'd be a hell of a comeback to win this game. What can we draw? What can we draw? What can we draw? They could have crewed this with these three and attack for six. And then we wouldn't be drawing a card, though. Come on, opponent. Let's go. Game's probably over. We'll just get this thing done with. Either I make the great comeback or I don't. I can't make blockers next turn, but they have menace creatures and stuff. We're also now freaking, you know, at eight. So, we draw. Yeah, so land's our best draw. We need to, like... Probably play Siege Gang just to chump block for a turn. So the problem is, like, now I can't even cast the array because, like, I don't time anymore. So it's probably like. Just draw land, play a bunch of blockers, draw land, play a bunch of blockers, draw land, play Muxus. Top card. If it's a gobble, we'll draw it. If. Yeah, so we'll, we'll draw that. So another non land draw. We draw a land, but it's app land. It isn't that bad, honestly. So we go to six. Yeah, we're just dead here. Play gang leader. Play tumble down. They just fire up the high of the tower and kill us. Pull to join their camera time. 
Down, down, down to tumble down. If I draw an untap land, I can cast Muxus, and then who knows? Things could happen. Muxus can do some pretty wild stuff. You know, with the perfect five cards on top of our library, you have to win the game. What is going on? Play gates. There you go. That is true. Muxus is very likely to hit a lot of lands, obviously, because you're missing lands every turn, so. Our deck is a little more land dense than usual at 41%. All right. Biggest comeback ever. Bigger than the Jags game. Here we go. Just call me Trevor Lawrence. We're good. Any, any sports fans out there? Dan and I went to the shittiest bar in New Jersey on, uh, on Saturday night to watch the game. Just absolute dog shit shithole. And, uh, we left at, at halftime. We're like, yeah, I just went to, back to the hotel, whatever. This game's probably over. Who oh boy. Who oh boy. All right, it's so block shouldered. Uh, all right, I mean, so we go to, we are going to go to one here. Uh, so things could happen. Once again, they're crew with shouldered for some reason. I don't know why, but sure. The thing about New Jersey is you can always find a shittier bar. I guess I believe you, but... Alright, so... We are going to block. That one's there. Uh, these all have Menace. We're at 6, going to 4, so you're going to go block this. So we're taking 3, going to 3. We're going to 1, basically. Alright, here it is. Oh, I guess... If a creature die, oh, we're gonna die to the uh, the massacre because this is gonna die. Ash, we're, we're actually just dead. Uh, there's no way to block and have things not die either. So, <laughs> hey folks, good time to follow the stream and uh, hit, hit all those buttons. Uh, follow me on MySpace and ChristianMingle.com and Farmers Meet and TikTok and Instagram and stuff. Yeah, we got a two each die. All right, that's fine. All right, they got us. Uh, so, a little rougher, a little rougher, a little bit of a rougher run than usual, honestly. I feel like we usually crush on these Brawl Days for my Monday, but I uh, took some losses there. That game, that match is kind of like, if we ever resolve the Goblin Influx Array, I think we're a pretty heavy favorite to win that game. Uh, we just never draw a fourth land. Uh, got crushed by the clock deck, which happens. The deck seems to seem pretty good. And, uh, but yeah, brawling up and new cards were great. Uh, Nykthos is obviously great. I love Influx Array. Very sad we didn't get to cast it. The card's very, very fun. Uh, Mutant Vault was great. Uh, our Goblin Morale Sergeant was going to be good, but then they just conceded. Uh, but yeah, definitely a very fun brawl deck. If you like historic brawl, give it a spin. Mog Monday episode 171 is in the books. Fresh and Brutus next, but YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all great.